Hello and welcome back to the course on databases. Today we're finally kicking off the part about the different normal forms and today we've got the first normal form. Very excited to proceed with this tutorial. Let's dive straight into it. So what is the first normal form? Well, let's look at the definition. A table is in first normal form if, first of all, it doesn't contain duplicate rows and second, every cell contains only one value. So let's have a look at an example. Here we've got an example of a table can you tell me right away if it's in first normal form or not? So can we say that this is a table, um, a first normal form table or not? Well, the answer is pretty obvious. Uh, this table is not uh, 1 and F. And that's, sh that's short for first normal form. And why is it not? Well, because first of all, we've got a duplicate row here at the bottom. There's two of those rows. They're identical. And second, we've got some cells that contain more than one value. So indeed, this is a valid table. You could come across a table like this. But at the same time, if uh, the person that created this table wanted to structure it in uh, the first normal form, uh, then they wouldn't uh, have these issues that we've outlined with this table. So uh, the answer to the question is no, it doesn't conform. And uh, the question is now, how could we fix this table to make it uh, conform to the first normal form, to the definition to meet that criteria? And the, the way to do that is pretty straightforward. You basically just take, remove that duplicate row, and then where a person has two phone numbers, you split it out into two rows. You split that row into two rows, and uh, therefore the phone numbers are now separated. And here again, this person has two phone numbers, and as you can see, we've separated them. And so now this table doesn't have any uh, duplicate rows, and also it doesn't have more than one value in each cell. So this extension, it still counts as a part of that phone number because it indeed is part of that phone number. So this time it does conform to the first normal form. So that's pretty simple, isn't it? Very, very straightforward. Well, the interesting part about normal forms of uh, tables, well, first of all, why, why do we need this normal form? Why is it important to understand why a table is a normal for first normal form or not? Well, because if you know in advance that a table is in first normal form, you will be sure that there's no duplicate rows and you will be sure that every cell has uh, only one value, right? So you won't be worried about those things. And um, that's why it's important to understand when you're dealing with a table, what, what kind of design does it have? What kind of design does the whole database have, that specific table? And just by knowing that it's in 1 and F, you're already, you know, you're confident that there won't be duplicates, there won't be more than one value, and you can proceed with your analysis. So it gives you additional information. It's like a standard. Does this table conform to the standard or not? In this case, we've made a table that does. And so the interesting thing about normal forms is that the first normal form is very easy. It's very simple to understand. Whereas from there, it just gets... It just, the difficulty skyrockets. So normal form two and three are will take us quite uh, some effort to get through. We'll definitely get through them, but it'll, it'll be a challenge to understand them and to remember them. And that's why right now I wanted to propose to you that we um, co come up with, or actually we use a mnemonic. So there's a mnemonic, or it's just like a phrase that is used to remember the different normal forms. So let's have a look at it and then I'll explain in more detail why we're doing it. All right, so here's the mnemonic and let's quickly read through it. It says that every non-prime attribute must provide a fact about the key, the whole key and nothing but the key. All right, so first of all, how do you remember this? Without going into detail why we need to remember it, but uh, the first thing that we need to do is remember it. And how do we do that? Well. Whenever you are kind of you're feeling lost in the world of um, normalization of databases and the normal forms, then just remember me explaining uh, how in American courts they put their hand up and they they say that uh, they pledge to say uh, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So you see here the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, right? So. That's exactly where this mnemonic came from. Um, is basically copied from there just so that it's easier to remember. And there we go. Now, hopefully that's ingrained in your uh, mind forever. And now let's understand why this is actually helpful to us. Well, if you look at the th three different parts about the key, right, that is uh, associated with the first normal form. The whole key is associated with second normal form and 
nothing but the key is associated with third normal form. So basically, these uh, hints will help you at any point in time recover in your mind the criteria for each one of these normal forms. That's why this mnemonic is useful. So let's go ahead and try it out on the first normal form because we've just done the first normal form in this tutorial. So uh, the concept here is that every non-prime attribute must provide a fact about the key. And while for the other parts, so for the second normal form and third normal form, this part is important, right? So every non-prime attribute must, and then this uh, other phrase. For the first normal form, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit less uh, strict like that. For the first normal form, the most important part here is just the words about the key. So that's the most important part. And basically, what that implies, this sentence, that something has to happen, something, something about the key, is implies that there has to be a key, right? They can, uh, in your table, there is a key. And let's look at our definition of a first normal form. So here, uh, well, the every cell contains only one value actually doesn't, the mnemonic doesn't help you remember that. So you'll have to remember that on your own. But basically that your table doesn't contain duplicate rows, right? It's exactly the same as saying that um, or it, it comes out of saying that the table has a key, right? So if a table has duplicate rows, then it cannot have a key, right? It cannot have a, any candidate keys because uh, by definition, a candidate key helps you identify rows uniquely, right? So if you have a candidate key, by that candidate key, you should be able to identify any row uniquely. But if you have duplicate rows in your table, so basically if your table doesn't conform to the 1 and F to this condition, then you won't have a key, and that means that this sentence won't be true. So that's how this mnemonic will help you remember the first normal form. I know it's a bit uh, it's a bit not as straightforward at this stage, Not it might be a bit uh, vague right now, but just remember the phrase, remember the mnemonic, and remember that um, this part is 1 and F, and basically it says that it's talking about the key, it's talking about a key, and that means that there has to be a key, and a key can only exist if there are no duplicate rows, and that will help you remember that that's what the 1 and F is about, that it doesn't contain duplicate rows, and also just you'll have to add this on on your own, that every cell contains only one value. So there we go. Um, that's what the first normal form is, and that's the mnemonic that will help us throughout this, uh, the rest of this section. And I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, happy analyzing.